a panini or panino is an Italian word which means small bread. It's a grilled sandwich made from bread other than sliced bread. We cut the bread horizontally and fill it with our favorite fillings and often served warm after having been pressed in a warming grill or any type of contact grill. They are crispy, they are beautiful and they are so tasty. And today let's see how to make these panini in a quick and easy method. In a bowl, take 160 milliliters of warm milk and add one teaspoon of sugar and half a teaspoon of active dried yeast. Yeast always need a sweet and warm environment to bloom up, so stir them well until the sugar and the yeast get dissolved completely and keep it aside for the yeast to get activated. In the meantime, let's measure the dry ingredients. Here we are taking two cups of flour and three fourth teaspoon of salt now our yeast got activated so we are going to add 30 grams of a softened butter into this and then adding the dry ingredients and mixing them together until everything is well combined and then transfer this on to a lightly floured work surface and then we need to knead the dough for six to eight minutes While making a bread, we don't need to be very precise in the measurements, but we should know the consistency of the final dough. We can add one or two tablespoons of water or flour accordingly, and our final dough should be soft and supple. So in this easy method of bread making, we are now jumping on to dividing and shaping the dough. So bring the dough into the shape of a log so that we can divide them into equal pieces and then take each piece of dough and shape them into either oval shape or into a rectangular shape according to your preference and place them onto a baking sheet aligned with a parchment paper. In this easy recipe, we don't need that double proofing, so we need to cover them up with a damp cloth or with a plastic film and let them sit and rise and puff up in a warm environment for two hours or until they gain their shape before baking. So unlike baking a regular bread, this bread need a lower temperature, say around 350 to 375 Fahrenheit for up to 20 to 22 minutes. Bake until the bread is cooked, but at the same time, we don't want that golden color on top and be careful not to over bake the bread until they become crusty so now after two hours they have puffed up and now they are ready to go into the oven so after baking let them cool down completely if you want to store them for long just wrap it tightly with a parchment paper, keep it inside a ziplock bag and keep it in the freezer and whenever you need just take it out, bring it to room temperature, slice the bread, fill it with your favorite fillings and grill it.
so now our bread has cooled down completely and uh, we can slice them and fill it with uh, any of your favorite fillings here i have used uh, some fresh tomatoes a fresh uh, mozzarella cheese and some fresh herbs and i'm using a sandwich maker to grill the bread Just heat until we get that melted cheese crispy finish and the beautiful grill marks on the outside. They are nice and crispy and they are so beautiful, they are so tasty. I really hope you like the recipe and I hope you will try this recipe at home and I'm sure you will love it. And thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video and please don't forget to share this recipe with your loved ones and for more recipes please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thank you.